welcome back to my channel obviously I've just done my 2024 fashion trend prediction video for spring but that video was just focused on apparel specifically and I wanted to do my footwear trend prediction video for spring separately to apparel the reason that I do this and the reason that I wanted to do this is because obviously footwear trends work very differently to apparel trends just because they move way way slower also within footwear there is a greater focus on functionality and also there are kind of fewer key players who hold the biggest proportion of the footwear market so that is why I do my footwear trend predictions and apparel trend prediction videos separately as always I'm going to split this video into the micro trends that we're gonna see I'm gonna start with the micro trends first and then I'm gonna go into the mainstream trends that we're gonna see that are really coming from the luxury market and from the 24 runways and of course because it's footwear I'm also gonna talk about the cool collaborations that we've already seen this year and also some up and coming cool collaborations as well so that is what this video is about this is my spring 2024 footwear trend predictions so the first one that I want to talk about it's basically the exact same trend that I spoke about in my apparel trend prediction video for spring it's basically just this hyper feminine aesthetic and bringing in super girly stereotypically girly elements into footwear and apparel and as I mentioned in my last video this is really coming from the 24 runways this whole aesthetic was featured so so much on women's wear runways this is really sort of the biggest trend that we're gonna see overall for spring and what's really interesting is that it is being spoken about for footwear trends specifically in terms of a micro trend so obviously if you look at the same 24 runways just two good examples are Simone Rocha, Sandy Liang they obviously featured this more stereotypical hyper feminine footwear but then if you also look at some of the street style photography from the 24 fashion weeks as well we've also seen a lot of this hyper feminine footwear as well in the street style so that is another reason to suggest that it is going to be this sort of micro trend this hyper feminine footwear is cropping up as a trend for spring so this is the first one that I want to mention I also think if you look at some of the key collaborations that we've seen at the moment as well you can definitely see key brands and designers playing into this hyper feminine aesthetic within footwear I think a really good example of this is of course the Cecile Banson and Asics collaboration so I'm absolutely obsessed with this collaboration I literally just saw it on Instagram but basically Cecile Banson does a lot of this footwear with hyper feminine elements within it a lot of floral embroidery I believe and basically they've collaborated with Asics on this absolutely stunning footwear collaboration and this absolutely is what I mean by this micro trend so thinking of a typical footwear silhouette and then bringing in hyper feminine elements bringing a typical girly design onto it and yeah this collaboration is just so so cool another collaboration that I want to highlight is the Sandy Liang and Solomon collaboration so they've collaborated on Solomon's Speed Cross 3 silhouette and also the RX Mock 3.0 silhouette as well and basically brought in Sandy Liang's aesthetic onto the Solomon silhouettes and I think they're so so cool it is really cool to see that this whole micro trend this whole aesthetic that is going to be such a huge thing for spring as a whole is really creeping into footwear and I just think the look that this gives is really really cool it's really interesting obviously it is not the kind of aesthetic for everyone but that is why it's a micro trend and definitely one that I want to spotlight I think this collaboration is so cool also just why we're speaking about Sunday Liang if you also look at her Mary Janes again I think this really fits into this micro trend so more examples of brands that are playing into this aesthetic I basically found this Solomon shoe which is really really cool I believe this is the XT SP1 Philo or Philo silhouette I can't really pronounce it but that is this silhouette of Solomon if you look at the Susan Alexander and Vans collaboration they've basically created this collection of footwear and it's called their fantasy collection and I just think this is so interesting because it really fits into this whim almost fairy tale storyline and these two footwear silhouettes definitely fit in to this micro trend that we are gonna see for spring so moving on to the next micro trend for footwear that we're gonna see in spring I think this is a really interesting one because it sort of highlights the atmosphere and consumer mindset at the moment when it comes to buying any kind of fashion products as a whole it's basically 
basically the micro trend of retro sneakers. So I made a footwear trend prediction video not that long ago for 2024 as a whole and I really did mention and really highlighted that retro sneakers were one of the biggest trends that we saw in 2023 and like I said as footwear trends move a lot slower than apparel this is going to continue to be one of the biggest trends that we see for spring in 2024 as well and obviously right now with the cost of living crisis with consumers not wanting to waste their money on sort of throwaway trends this is why we're seeing the footwear brands that are really focusing on either retro sneakers timeless pieces or the brands that are truly focusing on innovation really delivering innovative technology and true quality within their footwear they're obviously the brands that are doing the best because that is what consumers are willing to spend their money on and I think it is really interesting because we can see how the consumer behavior is impacting the designs and aesthetics that brands are putting out so that is my long way of saying that retro designs are a huge micro trend going to continue to be a trend for footwear in spring 2024 so going back to the aesthetics some great examples to look at of examples of this retro sneaker trend if you look at the Fenty Puma Avanti Pony collaboration this is a great example of a retro sneaker obviously if you look at the Adidas Samba if they're in stock that's another example of a retro sneaker that's really being highlighted as a trend for spring 2024 footwear. Also, if you look at the Puma and Noah collaboration, this is such a cool collaboration. I am really, really obsessed with this one. I believe there is a wrestling boot and also a version of their Arizona sneaker, I believe. And I just think the aesthetic of these two footwear pieces is so, so cool. It definitely plays into this retro micro trend. Again, it also shows that brands are recognizing the value in going into their archives, going into their heritage, playing on this heritage sportswear aesthetic and I think these sneakers definitely play into this sort of vintage sportswear aesthetic and just overall a really cool collaboration. Of course as well with the wrestling boots maybe this is a hint that we're going to see these boxing boots again continue to trend in spring. This is definitely a very niche micro trend but I think if we're going down this heritage sportswear look, this retro sneaker trend, of course this captures any true vintage type Type of sportswear sneakers as well so definitely wanted to mention this aesthetic and this collaboration I am really obsessed so the next niche micro trend is of course innovative footwear and just overall more futuristic tech focused designs so just staying on sort of sneakers for now obviously I am gonna go into other silhouettes of shoes more lifestyle shoes not all sort of performance wear and sneakers but basically this innovative trend really is being associated with sneakers and with trainers just very obvious as an example of how we're starting to see this trend crop up. If you just look at the popularity of brands like Asics, On Running, Hocker, Solomon, these are all brands that are really being known now for their quality, for their innovative technology. But then obviously in parallel with this, this is driving this futuristic, innovative, functional aesthetic. We've of course seen this be a trend for the past few years, thinking of things like Gorpcore. Functional wear is a whole trend, a whole micro trend in itself, but we are definitely going to see this continue to be popular, continue to be an aesthetic that brands put out in spring 2024. One example of this trend that brands are going to start focusing more on innovation is the fact that Nike is actually bringing out a new Air Max silhouette. I believe they're bringing it out in March as part of Air Max Day. I think it will be released around this time and the innovation is coming in because they've basically developed this new four tubes Nike Air unit technology unit as this Air Max is coming out in March it's undoubtedly going to have an impact on the trends that we do see. Also just looking at all of the footwear that Hoka or Hoka is putting out, they are really being praised for their innovation and if you look at this new X1 silhouette that they've put out, this really captures this aesthetic as well. Now moving away from sneaker trends, the next niche micro trend that we're going to see in footwear for spring 2024 is this idea of 90s minimalist footwear. So obviously in other trend prediction videos that I've done for 2024. I've really mentioned this idea of 90s minimalism. Obviously we all know that a 90s minimalist aesthetic is really a huge thing at the moment. Again, I just personally think this is because we're wanting less gimmicky fashion. We're not wanting to spend our money on products that have just been built for viral marketing tactics. We're really wanting more minimalist designs and designs that are going to last the test of time, more timeless pieces in a way. It really is a whole aesthetic. It's not like it's a 
associated with one footwear piece or footwear silhouette. So in that way, it really is a diverse trend in a way. The piece of footwear and the type of footwear that I associate with this 90s minimalist trend is these kind of black minimalist boxing boots. That's where my mind goes to. And also chunky black platform sandals as well. All of these things I personally believe fit under this 90s minimalist aesthetic. But really, like I said, it can go on to any type of silhouette. So things like kitten heels, slingback heels are also being put into this trend. In a way, it is sort of a lead on from this retro sneaker trend. Brands going into their archives, pulling from their archival collections and putting out more retro designs. And this is kind of where this 90s aesthetic is coming from. The last micro trend that I want to talk about before going into the mainstream trends and also the influence from the luxury market for footwear trends is of course cowboy core. This cowboy core aesthetic, obviously we know that the influence from Pharrell, the creative director of men's Louis Vuitton, he played into this western theme, this country theme, but mostly this is coming from of course Beyonce who's just put out this new sort of country music and she obviously has this cult following. So we're only going to see cowboy boots, western boots continue to be a thing for spring. They're going to have a whole resurgence. So that is a micro trend that we absolutely cannot ignore for spring 2024. I'm now going to talk about the more lifestyle silhouettes that we're going to see be a trend for spring and also the influence from the luxury runways that are being highlighted for footwear trends for spring specifically. Obviously the first ones we all know about these we're talking about ballet flats, Mary Jane's western boots like I mentioned that all still being spoken about. One thing that's new that I haven't seen spoken about yet with footwear trends specifically is this idea of mesh uppers on ballet flats. Apparently this is sort of the new trend within ballet flats, within Mary Jane's that we're going to see more and more brands offer for spring specifically. Also something that I did see start to crop up at the start of the year and at the end of 2023 was this idea of studded ballet flats, studded Mary Jane's, also buckle shoes as well. Thinking about the Ganny buckle shoes. This all really started with the popularity of Elias studded rhinestone and mesh Mary Jane. So this was kind of a niche trend within the Mary Jane and ballet flat trend, but now it's really trickled into the mainstream and we can expect to see more rhinestone, more studded flats in spring 2024. In terms of another luxury influence, I'm also seeing this idea of woven or braided ballet flats. Braided flat shoes also crop up. I suppose this makes sense because they're always kind of a trend, woven things, woven shoes are always a trend in spring and summer. So again, that's something that's being spoken about for spring. Another trend that's being spoken about when you look at the luxury 24 runways is this idea of toe revealing shoes. So a lot of luxury brands, brands like Victoria Beckham, Versace, they all had a version of shoes that reveal your toes. So we can expect to see this in heel trends. Also, we can expect to see more mules as well. Just any shoe that is revealing your toe. Another trend that's being spoken about when looking at luxury runways is this idea of off duty shoes. Again, this is pretty self-explanatory when you think of shoes that typically trend in the springtime. This is things like clogs, Birkin stock clogs, any type of slip on shoe, sliders of course, any type of shoe that's really this casual off-duty shoe. Think of a shoe that you've just slipped on to go to the beach, slipped on to do errands. In a way it kind of fits into this errand core. Definitely look out for this in spring. So the next one, probably my favourite trend that we're seeing coming from the luxury runways, probably the more interesting one, is this idea of bringing more materials, textile textures onto footwear. I don't think we've personally seen this be a trend in full force, but I think it could be such a cool aesthetic for spring. My mind really goes to more quilted shoes, quilted ballet flats, quilted Mary Janes, gingham prints, gingham materials, interesting textiles on footwear. I don't think I've really seen a lot of footwear like this, but I think it so fits into a spring vibe. Could be a niche micro trend for spring, but definitely an interesting one to play into. Then the last thing that's being spoken about from the influence of the luxury runways and something that I did mention very briefly in my first footwear trend prediction video this year and that was only just being spoken about at the start of the year but now it's really being highlighted as a trend that we're going to see in full force in spring is this idea of slouchy boots. In a way they kind of remind me of a 2010 style but they're basically any type of slouchy boot is apparently going to be a luxury trend that we see in footwear so again look out for that one and it will be interesting to see if we see it in full force in spring. So that was really it in terms of all my trend predictions 
predictions for footwear specifically that we're gonna see in spring. I just wanna end this video by listing off some of the cool collaborations that we've already seen this year or that we're gonna see very, very soon that are gonna have an impact on the footwear trends that we see for spring and that you might just be interested in knowing about as well. So there is a Reebok and Milk makeup collaboration. I think that's so cool. Such a weird sort of collaboration in a way, but love Reebok, love Milk makeup, so definitely like this one. There's also a Rick Owens and Doc Martens collaboration. Grace Wells Bonnet and Adidas are re-releasing their studded pack. So no doubt this is going to sell out very, very quickly, or if it's been released, I'm not actually sure, but it probably has or will sell out very, very quickly. There's gonna be a Supreme and Nike collaboration. Obviously the Nike Air Max DN. There's also a Comms de Garçon and Hoka collaboration or Hoka collaboration. Of course, Timberland and Louis Vuitton. And then there's also a Lamborghini and Todd's collaboration, which is really cool. And that's basically where I wanted to end this video. I hope you really enjoyed these trend prediction videos for footwear. Definitely let me know what you think. What footwear trends you think are gonna be the biggest in spring? Let me know if I missed anything as well. Let me know what you wanna see more of. And until the next one, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.